It seems like a common starter for for both of these two. Like, and I mean, why why it's wouldn't it be? Really, just a common starter. <laughs> yeah, fair. Oop. Okay, why? go on. All the way. <laughs> just to do it. Okay. <laughs> See, we love ZB. <laughs> he just does things. It's like, you know, maybe this will work. But it's it's weirdly calculated. It's it's ZB calculus instead of normal calculus. Still, rock play all the same. Gotta be careful with some of these towers trying to set up for these spires, but Prime, after getting a really good initial lead, is just playing it slow. And that's yeah. I mean that's really uh, prevalent against Crag who can explode for so much damage and so much uh, kill potential. You have to uh, measure the risk reward super well. As that's good damage and a good setup, but doesn't close out the stock, and Crag is still here. I thought he was gonna go for a four air there, but wanted more damage off the back air. Yeah, good maneuvering around, just making ZB waste some time on that pillar using the up strong. Nice. And another air tongue. That time the early the early get out because of no stacks and is Another air tongue comes in and quite literally saved him. To the F strong uh, messing up the parry timings as Crack has rock in his hand yet again. Ooh, that gets all right. Looking good. Yeah, prepping back and prepping back and forth, but it was such a, a solid job from ZB not only to but just to use your weight and understand that it takes a commitment for Prime to close out a stock. And even if you drop yours early, there's still plenty of time to make up this damage. As we are in an even game state for the stock two. Yeah, ZB off stage again, but able to go to that side plot. Comes to the right at just the perfect time. I bring back. Oh, gets uh, dash back shards into up tilt. Goes for another one of fair and looking to keep the pressure on. But the up special messes up with ZB's flow. Yeah. Okay, just the F-Song on the rock, sure. Oh, okay. Here we go, yeah, Tom. makes sense. Probably not going to be able to kill off of this, but still some nice damage. Nice. All right, <laughs> no longer nice. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, that Ooh. time was in instead of uh, corralling on ZB, gets the wall to convert that into a backer instead, but that's a parry mm. into side B. Yeah, the down B, not oh, the down quite B. Where, ooh, yeah. That was a good setup from ZB. I'm not really sure if there was any way out for Prime, except for maybe like a really awkward drift into like tack in the other direction. Down to the upper. Oh, down to upper one back air, messing up with the DI from ZB, who closes out with that said bear. Yeah. Ooh, this is, could be huge. The rock throw up, but gets hit by the inside of the pillar, and that's. I mean, it's not going to end the disadvantage, but it is going to give you another chance at survival. Yeah. Oh boy, that might be it. No, not quite. I cool. feel like Fair would have killed, but I'm not sure if it would have hit. Yeah. ZB going for the, the high percentage. Oh, again. Just these forward strongs, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was bold. Very bold. He gets the rear back, though, and the since the hit is active early in the move, it starts. Uh, it can work as a pseudo anti air. It's definitely not something you expect very often, but. Right. With a move that slow, when it hits, it certainly kills. As he went for fair there instead of nair. It hit during the startup. That's a that's, bit tragic. That's tough. And he be playing off the laptop screen now, I think. Go for it, boss. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh, he's changing controllers, trying to see which one has more lag or less lag. Maybe. I, active troubleshooting here today. Seriously, it's, you know, thank you uh, the, the schedule was fairly early, but, uh, mm, troubleshooting has not, not helped it stay that way. No, not ideal, for sure. As, as a reminder, this is the fourth laptop we have tried. <laughs> fourth laptop. So, Woo. Can we get a five? <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> just trying to... Just trying to play our favorite video game. <laughs> I don't think we need to go through four laptops in our in our block. <laughs> no thanks. I don't think we have four more laptops. <laughs> Only four in general, because we started on two, and then there was three off stream. This is four. This is four. Uh, Still no. like. <laughs> I think, yeah, we we have four. <laughs> oh no. Woo! <laughs> 
Okay, but we get the banning, so it seems like the TV's just playing off the, the, the laptop screen now. Because there he is, <laughs> in the player cam, as we're going to uh, TruplePon. I like this stage a lot for a lot of characters. I think it's the, the tri if you benefit even slightly by triplat layout or the lip of platforms going off the ledge, then you're going to like this stage. And Rana kind of likes both. I feel like more often than not, Trapple's one of the stages where you kind of be cautious of like, is it going to benefit the opponent more? Because some characters really need those overhangs. Other characters don't want you to have them because they don't need them. And I feel like Kog's a character that generally doesn't really need them. Like, they're nice, of course. Right. But his recovery is still really good without them. Just a matter of how uh, how much, how well can Prime use them and how well can Prime, like, overwhelm ZB in now that he has a, a slightly more um, coherent set of recovery mix-ups. Yeah. Cohesive, rather. Oh, but the shards are just hitting too high. The rock toss won't quite net the stock and the up strong as well. Prime is just taking his time more and more and finally gets a chance for a punish here. And immediately reversaled by ZB, saving the double, uh, using the double jump early rather to yeah. find a punish. Oh, That's tough. And rock is certainly not helping. Prime pepping back and forth, trying to find the proper spacing in order to find a close out of stock here. Yeah, they they want the fair, which I can totally get, but it's good to not like overcommit to it, because you can just kind of die if you go too low against Krag. He has a lot of ways to reverse edge guard you. Still doing that, uh, doing the aerial tongue on the uh, on the tower recovery. As yeah. He finds the sour spot fair, just resetting yet again, cancels off the block, and able to get back to stage into Rano's waiting arms. Yeah, the strongest move actually going to Galaxy there. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> only the second hit of the Spire, the third one not spawning on the uh, length of the platform. Yeah, it's always, oh. man, the ambiguity here from ZB Ooh. on like where he's starting these uh, downbees is really smart. Because Prime is clearly really thrown off by a lot of them. And like yeah. at this point, yeah, they're not even looking for a parry or to approach or anything. They're just trying to not get hit. A fair statement to be sure, but oh, that time the Spire comes out and it comes out yet again. Just looking to, most of the time the third Spire has been coming up on platforms. So ZB's using it as a really effective anti-air up until that moment where he reads the tech roll in wow. with a fully charged up strong as that is game two. Wow. Yeah, going to ZB. That's, I mean, what's there more to say but beyond like just really effective uses of the of the downbeat on the platform, even on top platform early in that set, but then you getting a little bit closer, throwing off the timings and getting a huge, huge punish for it. A game winning punish. Yeah, like actually though. Wow, what a turnaround, but it is still Prime having a chance to counter pick. Does he run it right back to Trouple? Is it Trouple or Truple? Chapel. Trouple. Trout okay. Apple. Trout Apple. Trout yeah. Apple. That's the, the Shovel Knight experience. I'm a big fan of the actual Shovel Knight game, so that stuff like that definitely rests in my mind pretty easily. <laughs> All right. Today we learned. I've been overpronouncing the U, so, I guess. So many people do that, it's, and I'm just like, come on. It's OU, like you're true. I, I kind of like get why it happens, but yeah. Yeah. Still, uh, Prime, they have a, uh, they have an opportunity to try and really try, uh, try and mix up how they, how they mess with ZB, especially on a stage like this. But you leave yourself open to high roll punishes on both sides. As mm -hmm. much as Rano can smother you or camp you out, and, and with the lack of platforms to dissuade uh, aggressive mix-ups on approach. You still have to deal with the one recovery route that ZB can very much cover. Right. Oh, uh, across the stage we go. Missing the dash stack, though, and Prime, they find a... Uh, a, really, a semblance of a punish gets the parry into the tongue. And these jabs out of pressure from ZB, just checking to make sure that Prime isn't going for an offensive parry, nor is he... or, or just waiting in general. Yeah, I like the tilt boost follow-ups from it, too. Yeah. He was really good at using his job. Very technical player in, in a lot of like regards to his movement. 
could see that with just how he was changing out controllers twice over. Ooh. Yeah, oh boy. It's a big forehead. And right now, ZV really wants this that win, trying to get in the winner's side of the bracket. The reversal with that up air as well. Still going to set up for Prime to find a very nice punish from them. Going, um, traveling back on the stage, but still following in turn. Yeah. He's Kind of used Needles earlier than he really wanted to, though, having to use him for recovery instead of some semblance of off, uh, of offense. Right. It just kind of happens sometimes. When you have him, you got to use him. You for know, sure. when you got to use him. Peppering away with yet more jabs. Looking for the same finisher with that down uh, that down B. Prime plays around it, though. They look for dare, uh, bear after bear. And like, this is tough, because I mean, Prime's done fairly well this stock, but they're still at 104 right now. And if there's anything Craig is known for, it is just being able Ooh. to last. But they do, they did reset, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was a really good edge guard, but now just yeah. throwing themselves off stage, that is scary. ZB almost killing them just for that. Yeah, if there's any, if it shows anything, this is a uh, showcase of Prime's discipline as they have found time and time again openers and ways to extend and just not laid, not letting ZB dictate the game despite the lead that he was in. And now this game's basically even if Rano can find something like that. Wait, yeah, actually, like, Prime's playing so well right now, just kind of evading every option ZB can go for to kill. Covering the tech roll in, looking just to prep with more and more needles. The forward strong does not connect, and ZB is back off stage. Good aerial tongue there, but not able to get anything off the tack. The Dacus was crazy, and this is four stacks on ZB going for jab twice over the rock. The rock here is the rock's gonna mm, not quite set up, but the setups are there. Wow. Yep. There we go. Incredibly hard fought stock from Prime, but ZB's ready. They played it out so unbelievably well, but looking for uh Looking for a lot of downbeats. I'm. I thought a fair could have came out right there, but instead ZB finds a uh, one of those pillar edge guards. They hadn't gone for much in this set. Mostly pillar was just used uh, as a. I mean, obviously it's a recovery, but also as a blockade. Mm -hmm. And that time using it and getting the pop up. Yeah, it's interesting because I think that's what he was kind of hoping for. Like either you are right in front of the pillar, and then the rock is going to edge guard you, right. or you come in too far, and the pillar is going to edge guard you more or less. 